everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here. Guess what time it is? It is the month of April. Yay, yay, yay. Couldn't get here quick enough. Um, now I'm waiting for May, June, July. <laughs> all right, guess what? This month's prompt, you guys all know it by now, right? Um, I've got this last week, and, uh, you know, let me tell you, out of all the ideas everybody else is coming up with, it's kind of difficult, all right? But I have some ideas that I think you guys might enjoy. Um, if anything, you'll just have fun watching me play, right? Okay, the first thing I have to say is this is my... And, and this is going to sound crazy, and if you know my childhood, you'll understand why. This is my very first box of brand new crayons that are all for me. Nobody else has touched. They are just phenomenal. Um, I ordered them off Amazon. I paid like $14 for it. Honestly, I think if I did it again, I just would order the box and not this crazy little uh, carrier. But hey, what the heck. All right, so crayons, markers, and pencils month, right? This is my my year 2017 journal, and as I said at the beginning of the year, I'm doing it based on art, and you know, it's it's been a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't have my bookmark on there. All right, so here's April. Now, this is what we've already got down for April. This is my book from the library of, that's my book reviews, so I'm just going to set that over here for right now. So we've got to do something with April. Now, I do have several things over here to the side that I'm going to be using. And during the week, you're going to see um, the videos on how to make this stuff. All right. This first, if I can get a hold of it, is the washi. All right. So I'm going to show you how to make that. Very simple. Um, this is washi that I had tried to cut something out of with a die cut. It didn't work. And actually, I don't know where my garbage went. Um, it's just going to sit over here. I also have some other things here that we're going to use. Again, I'm going to show you later on in the week how to make those. They were kind of cute. Here's some more. Now, the one thing I will tell you, all of this has crayons as the basic um, color. Okay? So we're going to work on these. We're going to put our pages together here for April. Um, and let's just have fun, right? So the first thing we, we're going to do is I want to get into these crayons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand new. Look at that. This is a, it just says Burlo. So we're going to color. Yay. I just want to put a little color down. Okay, it's all about, you know, what we're going to do this month and just play what everybody else has done already this month and played. So, that's so weird. These are almost like a, oh. oh, it's a glitter one. That's why. That's a glitter crayon. Let's see. Let's see what this one is. Is this one a glitter? No, well, that's just a plain old crayon. All right. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That glitter one felt funny. So I'm just putting down some color on my page. I don't know what that is. Piece of paper. So just playing. So have you guys enjoyed this month's prompt? Oh my gosh. When I thought crayons, I thought, oh, I'm going to get to play with my own crayons. So I was really excited, actually. Why not? Why not be excited? All right, now I want to take I want a little bit of texture on this underneath here. So let me grab, I'll be right back. All right, so I just went and I grabbed a piece of bubble wrap. And then what I'm gonna do, I wanna see if it shows up. Nope, it doesn't. That's all right, it makes it softer though. It's okay. So anyways, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's prompt. 
it's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we've had a lot of different talented ideas come out of it, I believe. All right, now I want some. That's, is this the glitter? No. Robin's Egg Blue. Isn't that a pretty color? All right, that can go away. Robin's Egg Blue. I'm just sitting here thinking while I'm drawing this. I'm like, hmm. I'm not drawing. Well, I'm coloring. Who doesn't love to color? You know, I don't know many people that don't. Especially if you're creative. I think coloring is the very beginning of a lot of creativity in especially children. And I really wish that more children would be allowed to color longer and play longer and be creative longer and you know what follow their passions because creativity is, is fantastic um, I would love to see not only just an art class in school but just you know somewhere where they can just sit and create just be themselves hey I think I know what that is it's called adulthood and it's called playing on YouTube and doing videos <laughs> right that's what it's called all right so we've got that now I need to grab I need to find my scissors that have patterns on them and I'm gonna cut some of this washi up and I'll be right back all right so let me bring it in just a little bit there you go all right so I had to go and uh, raid my granddaughter's um, scissors here so and you know I should start keeping these out because I like to use them <laughs> so what I'm gonna do like I said this is washi that I'm going to show you how to make um, later on this week. Very, very simple. I'm hoping these scissors will cut it. They will. Not perfect, but that's okay. The material that it's on is a tougher material, so that's okay. All right. You know what, these I think I'm going to use on the next page. Let's, I want blue. Let me try a different pair. Let's see what designs we have here. Come on, you. Decisions, decisions, huh? All right, so let's take this pair. Let's try these. Oh, perfect. These work much better. Okay. So I've got those. I'm going to do another one. Now this happens to be sticky. Sticky do. So we're just going to put this right here. I'm just playing, having fun um, with the coloring. You know, um, I didn't do a whole lot, I'll be honest with you, I didn't do a whole lot with markers this month because um, I really wanted to play with the crayons. It was just something so freeing and so much fun about playing with crayons and that's just where I wanted to go so like I said you're gonna see a lot of things that I'm doing with crayons and just having fun with it so alright so there's that now I do this is not quite the right color so we're gonna save that for the next page now one thing I do want to say is um, I took some of this which again, I'm going to tell you what it is in my next video. And after I made it, I decided to do some die cuts with it. Now here's what I did when I, this is the word journey, as you can see. And then I did the word journey backwards. And the reason I did that is we're going to do this here. We're going to put our backward journey here. We're not looking back, right? We're always looking forward. So... 
I wanted to put this here as a reminder that we're not looking back. We're always going to look forward. So I'm going to put that here. And again, this is sticky. Sticky, sticky do. And it worked fine on my die cutter, by the way. So, um, and I just have the big kick, big shot, big kick, whatever it is. And I'm going to take this off. And we are going to stick our backward journey down. Now, was this an accident? I, I could say, oh, no, 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 I planned it this way. No, it was an accident. So when I put it in the die cutting machine, I actually put it the wrong way. So I ended up with this backwards journey, and I thought, you know, that's a really cool way to say, look, we're not looking backwards. Look at that. Can you see it? That's really neat. So, yeah, it was a mistake, but it turned out to be, and here it is just in white. Okay. But um, it turned out to be a really good thing because I love the idea that we're looking back. We're not, or I'm sorry, we're looking forward. We're not looking back. So let me grab my scissors here. So I'm going to cut a piece of this because I really want this to show here. So we're just going to go like this. Um. You know, I know this is not, well, maybe it's not the place or time. I've been hearing some dis disturbing things about um, some people, you know, with YouTube channels and requesting money and that kind of stuff. And the only thing I can say is just please beware of these people and don't send money to people. You know, we have so much stuff in our lives that we need to deal with on our own and you know, some people just have to take responsibility for themselves. And that's all I'm saying about that. So we're going to take our forward journey. You know, I didn't even need that there. Oh, well. Um, we're going to take our forward journey, and we're going to put it on here. And it says, this says, good things are going to happen. And, you know, that's so very true. When you look forward, there is so much good. Um, there's so many dreams and hopes and things you want um, that inspire you and Hey, let's keep looking forward. None of this looking back stuff. You're not going back there. I have a quote here on my desk, and I, I learned it a long, long time ago, actually about three years ago, and it's stuck with me to this day. And that quote is, where is it right here? My history is not going to be my destiny. How true is that? I, you know, thought my history was going to be my destiny, I'd be in big trouble. All right, so we have this. Now, I have also been doing, like I said, coloring. This has all been about coloring this month. Now, these, I will, I will tell you, they are not my artwork. This is artwork from um, a girl named Amy Shocker, S-H-O-C-K-O-R. Okay, this is her artwork. Um, she loves to doodle, and she's phenomenal at it. I'll actually show you one I have not colored yet. This is one of her art. She's so talented. And like all of us, when we start out, it's like, ah, I can't do that. I'm not doing it right. She is, has a wonderful, wonderful talent. So I took these, and I just used some crayons, and I colored these. And I wanted to use them this month. Now we're talking about our journey, so I thought this was very, very appropriate to put in here. Um, we're taking our journey from one spot to another, okay, to find our paradise. So let's take this and let's get it put down. I'm going to use some double-sided tape here. As soon as I can find the end. There it is. So Amy, thank you so much for your artwork. I absolutely love it. You know that. Amy and I have talked for a few years now. Um, she's a good soul. She's a good girl. So, um, we're going to put this down. You know what? I might leave it. I am. I'm going to leave it uh, up at the top. So, 
Do I want to do it up top? Let me think. Hang on a second. I just think it's so I could put a tag in here, but I also have this pocket. So I think I am going to put it all down. So let's put it all down. And I've got too much, so I'm going to split this in half. All right. And now to find my poker. Like I've told you guys, I always use my poker to do this because it's just so much easier. Oops. When my poker stays out, it is. Come on. So is everybody here in the U.S. looking forward to spring? I know I am. I'm looking forward to, you know, warmer weather and just the sun. I want sun. All right, so let's take these and I'm gonna put this right here. I think that is perfect for this month because we're taking a journey. Come on. Okay, now we're gonna go on to our next page. I'm not gonna do a whole lot more on this page. I'm just getting it set up and getting them ready. And then I've got a lot to add. So, like I said, you guys have gotten me the last month of the year, or the last week of this month, so um, we've got a lot to add in here. So let's go on to the next page. Can you say, yuck, <laughs> yuck, I don't like these colors. So what I am going to do is I am going to color this page. Now I'm not going to make you sit here laboriously watching me color the whole thing. So I'm going to put you in fast forward and we'll get this page colored up. I'll be right back.
So you guys saw me. I colored this. And I had so much. Just fun scribbling. Scribble, scribble, scribble. All right. So now before I go on to that page, I forgot something here. I want to use these. Again, these are just cute little flowers. And I'm going to tell you all about them and how to make those in a bonus video coming up this week. So for right now, I just want to put some, 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 something, some, some, somethings on them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just in that, I'm in a strange mood this morning. Well, I should say this afternoon. It is afternoon here. So just, oh no, look, we got a blob. Blob gone. All right. So let's just, why am I getting, you know, some days these pens just really make me upset. Some days they will just paint really nice. Other days they just blob like today. But anyways, and I want to use, I'm going to put a little bit more white maybe on this one. Yeah, no, that's not even showing up. So let's get our black out. I love my black pens. Sharpies are the best. Sharpies you can do all kinds of things with. So let's do one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. You like those sound effects going with this? <laughs> like I said, I'm in a strange mood today, guys. So um, it's just, I don't know, weird. Anyways, I want these on here. I think that's so cute. There we go. That one's going to stay right there. And then we are going to play with this one. And love my dots. Dots, dots, dots. Who doesn't like dots? I saw that there's been a, some videos out there about dot painting. And I think that would be so cool to do. That one's going to go right there. And then this one. These are really cool. Um, like I said, this is crayon on here. And um, I will be showing you later on this week how to make these. And they're just so cute and so easy. So, all right. And this one's going to go right here. So let's get those put down. Um, I am going to use double-sided tape only because um, I want, I don't want to put glue on here. I'm afraid glue is just going to make it icky. So we're going to use double sided tape on these. Let's go put a couple pieces on the back. Find my pokey tool. Pull up that double sided tape. Come on. Come on. Darn it. Art is not working. There we go. There's one. There's two. That's not right. See, it's a weird day today. Oh, no, I stuck it to my thing. All right. Okay, so we're just going to put this one right here. Cute, cute little flower, right? I love cute little flowers. Well, speaking of flowers, what's your favorite flower? Mine, I'm just going to do one on each of these. I don't need two of them. My, I think I have to say my most favorite flower is Black Eyed Susan's. And um, my sister, my sister is a huge flower. She loves flowers. That girl can grow any flower anywhere, anytime. And she loves just spending time out in the dirt. And bless her heart, she has been so good to me because I used to do the same thing. And now with my back, I'm not able to. So um, she'll come up and she'll weed for me. And she plants new flowers. And it's just so nice to look out and see all the beautiful, um, you know, the, the, the reaping of her labor. Let's put it that way. So, anyways, I love these Black Eyed Susans, and I also love, they're, actually, I think they're on a line of a daisy, but they're the same colors as the Black Eyed Susan, 
and I just they're amazing I absolutely love them they're stunning okay so here we go we colored this page now I want to use um, some of these art this art that Amy had sent to me so what I'm going to do is find my big scissors this one is going to go right here I just think that's beautiful goes with the colors this one I'm actually going to cut in half sorry Amy I know she won't mind she will tell me do whatever you want with it so now because I've got crayon on here and this is wax based um, I might be having a difficult time writing in this so I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to um, document uh, using um, I'm, I'm, my mind's not working my my words aren't coming using um, things that I will tape into this or glue into this kind of on a scrapbooking style okay so that's how I'm gonna keep track of everything this month and like I said you guys um, will see this the last week of the month and I will hopefully be able to do a live video where I can show you everything that's been done so um, you know I'll plan on that for the end of this month but like I said I have a lot of cool goodies uh, there's gonna be different things coming up showing you how to make um, the flowers that I'm using how to make the uh, washi that I'm using and it's just really cool techniques so we're gonna do this and put it there and there this one's gonna go right in the middle Let's see if my fingernails will work on this today oh, one of them I got usually I have a hard time I can't get my fingernails to grab that cute huh I love it I absolutely love it it's so pretty all right this one Changing my mind already, see that? So like I said, these I just colored with um, regular coloring, regular crayons, or um, actually no, these were colored pencils, I'm sorry. These were colored pencils, I believe. I sat down, if I have a, you know, a uh, Google Hangout call or something like that, I'll sit with stuff in front of me and play around with it. So, all right, so there's those. Now, I wanted to use um, a couple pieces of this. This is that washi that we made. And I just want to put one here. Wow, it's so quiet in here. My my stove shut off and everything's quiet. Very, very quiet. I'm just gonna put that there. Where were we? We were in my husband and I on, on Sunday we went out wandering around and we went into this antique store. And it was so quiet in the antique store. I told my husband, I said, it almost hurts your ears. And here you go. I have lots of these, but um, a great mark make mark making tool for your paint. So just think about that if you have any double sided tape and you use your circle thing, you can use it for um, mark making tool. But yeah, I was telling my husband, I said, you know, it almost hurts your ears. It's so quiet in here. He's like, yeah, I agree. So. All right, let's throw this one down. I got it too big of a piece. I'm gonna put this guy right here. This was the very first one I made. And this one, um, yeah, it just was kinda, kinda crazy. I'm not sure if I wanna use that one. 
like that one there. That one there. I think that's all we're going to do with these. All right, so let's take these two. There's one. So cute. I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving these challenges. I, I think they're so much fun. There we go. Perfect. All right, so there you go. There's the beginnings of my journal um, for the uh, month of April, which is just so much fun. So now we're going to go ahead. Um, I need to put my book review tag in here for now. That's going to keep moving month to month. I'm sure I'll end up with other tags that I want to have in here um, just for the heck of it. Good things are going to happen. Yes, they are. And this is our journey, which we're not going backwards. We're going forward. All right. So there's the first couple pages. And then um, as my month goes on, I will be adding more. Uh, but for you guys, um, you're going to see now how to make a few of these elements that I've put on the pages. And then we will just have a fantastic week uh, wrapping this up, right? All right, so we'll talk to you guys soon, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Hey, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.